Welcome back to Challenge Bahrain with the champion, $100,000 richer, Heli Fredrickson. Heli, talk a little bit about winning $100,000 in one day. Ooh, that, that's very nice. It's a very, very nice Christmas gift. Um, and also for planning and everything we're going to do next year. We're going to get married, Ben and I. And oh, so, nice. Yeah, so there is a little bit of money for that. And yeah, and you know, just just spoil each other and you know like you put in so much work and it's just really really nice that you can suddenly afford to not live on a stone <laughs> and people forget that it's it's very difficult to make a living as a triathlete because you're you're traveling paying your own travel to get to these events most of the time yeah. and you're paying for during your training time you're paying for your you know your living expenses and you can't race that much it, it, especially these longer distance races. Yeah, obviously I don't do it for the money. Like I, I truly, yes. I truly love this sport, yes. and I truly love to find out how far I can get with the body that I have got, yes. and and the hard training and determination that I have. And uh, but obviously it's a big bonus, and uh, it really makes it all worth it when you're like, whoa, I just won hundred thousand dollars. And it's not so much like just winning hundred thousand dollars. It's the setting and it's the feel see how many amazing women yes. I beat today, I have beaten today. Like Olympian, world champion. Ironman like, champion. It's Absolutely. everything, you, everything here. Like, like it's every, everybody there. I, I couldn't say like, okay, she can win it, she can win it, she can win it. Everybody, like there's so many that could win it. And just be the one that was having the best day. Yes, probably, is, uh, probably one of the greatest female fields ever assembled. Yeah, certainly, and uh, you know, it's not that I'm better than them, but I had a better day on than this them. Day. Right, uh, and that's on what's great day. about it is yeah. tomorrow the results could be totally different. Oh yeah, for sure. I just I just got it right on the day, and, and that was good for me. So when you saw when you come in the transition, and Annabelle took a little bit of a gap. Yeah. And she's obviously a great runner. Yeah. You had to be a little concerned about that going into the beginning of the of the race. Of yeah, the, the run. like like Annabelle is 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 for my two racer as well. In 2006, she was number one yes. in the world on on Olympic distance. So. Annabelle is a very good runner and she's had some, some good races now in, in yes. Australia on 70.3 just before coming here and I knew she was fit and uh, so I just tried to uh, you know run a little bit faster than I wanted to in the beginning and see if I could shake anybody off yeah. And, and yeah I did. I got a little lead and uh, you know that little elastic if that goes yes. that that's important so and then Jody Swallow was working so hard I mean your form was very smooth but Jody wasn't giving up and she's no. she's a hard-working person she's a tough cookie and and you know she will go to extreme to you know to win yeah. and uh, and she's an amazing athlete and and you know she's also from ITU plus she's you know she was second at the world right. she was third in high V she was fourth, fourth in, in Kona, Kona. Yep. you know her resume is impressive so you know all the resume you know all the stats oh. you study all the other girls I know that we know each other yes we know each other you know we've been racing for some years now yes, all yes. of us so uh, and we respect each other a lot and uh, yeah so so obviously when she was sitting on my shoulder and I could hear her breathing very hard and I was feeling quite good right there yeah. and uh, after about 5k I tried to put in a little search and see what happened and uh, suddenly I didn't hear that breathing anymore and I thought oh maybe I've, I've, maybe she's off me <laughs> and I just tried to tick along and I couldn't really hear anything behind me anymore and and then I just decided okay just look forward don't look back yeah. because if you look back can you run faster no so if you look back and see they're just there what will you do freak out <laughs> so now, did you did you know that the third because was you probably heard breathing from two people there for a while with Peter yeah. Babrusik. Yeah. Did you know it was a guy or did you yeah. think, oh, maybe there's another girl there? I saw him because I overtook him. Okay. And uh, then I, I could hear his uh, landing was a bit heavier yes. than, than us smaller girls. Oh. So I, I got that it was it was a okay. guy and suddenly that breathing and landing that also, too. It also went away. And <laughs> then I just tried to look ahead and then just hope that the, the way that I was running yes. was good enough to, to keep keep the lead. Good enough to win $100,000. Is this one, is, would you consider this your best race ever? Probably, and high V. I won high V this year. When you won high V, yes. This so year what, as and well. what was the prize money of high V this year? $100,000. Two races, $200,000. <laughs> so about four hours, $25,000. Uh, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good ratio per hour. That's a good rate. It's crazy.
It's crazy. I've done it right this year. You did. I have uh, I have buried myself and I have trained very very hard and and you know I got I got the bonus and it's amazing. When you win something like high V, which is Olympic distance, and you win something like this, that shows a level of, of versatility that you don't see much anymore. People specialize. They're yeah. 5150 or they're half or they're full. Someone who can do both and be successful both, that's very special. Yeah, and I enjoy mixing the Olympic distance and the half distance up. I feel that it keeps me fast on the half. Yes. And this is only my seventh half, I think, ever. Um, I started doing half last year, and I just enjoyed that distance and uh, found out that, you know, that maybe it actually suits me a little bit better than when I did Olympic distance yes. draft legal and I was at the Olympics in London. Right. But it was just... Mm, it it didn't takes suit. the bike out of it for you. Yeah, it does, and it didn't suit me that well with all those attacks constantly. I, I couldn't. You're cope. more of a little. Uh, you're a fast diesel. I'm a fast. Yeah, and I can keep going really, really hard, but I would like to not have to change pace too much. Love it. Um, so, yeah. So I will keep doing half and 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 Olympic distance because it's fun and yeah. And at this point, you can make a living not having to go the full distance at this yeah, point. Yeah, and and like I maybe I'm gonna go the full distance, but I'm not going before I'm very, uh, I will be competitive at it and, and it takes time for the body to mature and get ready to, to be competitive. Like Ironman distance is another world, like it is nothing to do with half, it's not two times half, it's another. It's eating, drinking, it's everything crazy. else. It's crazy, there's yeah. so much else there, so no, like I think I'm such a racer and today for instance where Rachel, we talked about it afterwards, like she put in like five minute like crazy searches out there on where the bike. on the bike yeah. and I was looking down my power meter and I was doing like 260 270 and I'm 52 kilos that's big that's 5.7 <laughs> yeah, watts yeah, yeah. per kilo and I was thinking oh she's strong and you're sitting down 20 meters and you don't get any advances of sitting there right. on 20 meters and I was thinking well, it has to stop she cannot continue doing this then no else she's crazy crazy girl and then suddenly it, it stopped again yeah. and then you know, 10 minutes after, another surge came. I was like, no, seriously? Does it keep going? <laughs> so I just, she was trying to get rid of you. She was, and she told me that. I look back, and you're still there, she said. So, yeah, so I just uh, didn't think. I just, you uh, see, you just went. I just tried to, to follow and answer those searches, and uh, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Kelly Fredrickson, $100,000 richer, the champion today at Challenge Bahrain.